Before we dive into the Mirth Connect Administrator, I think it's important to go over a brief intro into how Mirth works. So we know that Mirth can receive data from many different sources and route that data to one or more destination. These interfaces that hold this ability is what Mirth calls channels. Channels are an essential part of Mirth and can be configured in many different ways. When deployed, channels can connect the sending application to one or many receiving applications. And every channel is going to be split up into two sections, a source and a destination. A sending application is what Mirth calls a source, and a receiving application is a destination. Once we edit a channel, the source and destinations will be in their own individual tabs. So with source and destinations, each have three main components. First is a connector. The source has an inbound connector, while the destinations have an outbound connector. After the channels has connected the data using the connectors, the data will then be sent to components called filters and transformers. Depending on the connector, they'll allow us to receive or send data to or from an application. There are multiple types of connectors. Some are TCP connectors, JavaScript connectors, database connectors, and more. The connector in the source is going to be called an inbound connector. These are going to be the listeners and readers. These are also what connects Mirth to the sending application, while the connectors in the destinations are called outbound connectors. These are the senders and writers, and they are what sends or writes the messages to the destinations. Filters is another component of a channel. They determine if a message should be processed or filtered. These filters use rules to determine what message should go through. Multiple rules can be layered, and if more than one rule is created, they can allow an AND operator or an OR operator to be configured. For destinations, the filters are a key component for only allowing the correct type of data through. Transformers are configured to translate a message to a required data type or match any specifications that the destination might need. Usually these are determined by the requirements of the system. Transformers can also extract pieces of information from the message to be processed outside of the channel. There are also multiple types of transformers. To name just a few, a JavaScript transformer, an iterator, an external script, and much more. The transformer gets the data from the filter. Each destination is going to have a filter, transformer, and connector. And because we have components such as connectors, filters, and transformers, channels can be configured to translate large processing tasks into smaller sequential steps. To review, a message is generated or received from the source using an inbound connector. The message will then be sent to the source filter and transformer. If the message still needs processing, it will be sent to each destination filter and transformer, then ultimately being sent to the destination using the outbound connector. Next, we'll dive into the Mirth Connect administrator and create our first channel and look more into the depth of connectors, filters, and transformers.